Hello, good morning. I hope that you're all well and that you've had a good two weeks. Last weekend, I was at Nashville Needlework Market and I will talk about that in a little while in this video and show you some goodies from Nashville. Um, a few days ago, we launched a new product, um, which is printed fabric panels. And uh, these panels are designed to go into quilts. They're all needlework related and they all contain a little message uh, that's sort of relevant to needleworkers. Um, I don't know if those colours are showing correctly on this screen. It's a dark, dismal day and I've got something going on with my iPad and my, uh, and my phone. They're just not capturing colour properly. So um, these quilt blocks are designed um, at five inches by six inches and they make perfect centres for uh, a block to be built around for a quilt. Um, the first one says, my needlework will tell my story, then finding joy in the simple act of stitching. Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time, and isn't that true? Needle in hand, heart full of inspiration, my needle dances to the rhythm of my heart. Needlework is where creativity meets craftsmanship. Stitching is the gentle whisper of inspiration. Every stitch carries a piece of my heart. Um, with every stitch, I stitch a little bit of my soul. And needlework is the art of creating memories with every stitch. These are all little messages that sort of mean something to me and what my stitching um, is about to me. So those are some really lovely whimsical uh, blocks. Now I have had a lot of um, requests um, to print these uh, different sizes which you know I mentioned on the website that we're able to do that. I've had um, an overwhelming number of requests to print these at three and a half inches wide which makes them 4.2 inches uh, deep for pin cushions and um, I've uh, designed them and they've gone to the printers and uh, hopefully in a little while they will be available on my website but I just want to do a test swatch first just to make sure that everything works. Now the colours in these blocks um, I sort of designed to go with um, many different uh, quilting fabrics. But I did have um, French general Marie Antoinette in mind, and they will work perfectly with that new range from French general. Very pleased with those. The cotton these are printed on is really, really nice. Um, there's a generous gap in between. You've got more than a quarter inch seam to cut these out uh, between them. Um, I'm very pleased how these have worked out and lots of orders have already come in. If you're interested in uh, getting one of these uh, panels, they're available on my website and they're also available on Hobby House Needleworks website as well. And, um, you know, if you would like these printed at a different size, just drop me an email. Um, but eventually they will be on my website in an alternative size. There we are. Um, okay, so talking of uh, blocks, I mentioned um, two weeks ago that we were able to print fabric um, to order. And I had a request from um, a Hands Across the Sea sampler uh, stitcher who stitches a lot of our uh, samplers for Anne Tong Uffendale. Now, Anne was available as a tea towel, but those tea towels sold out. So she wanted to make uh, something, I won't say what, because I think it's a surprise to somebody with Anne. And she also wanted to make some things with Sarah Milthorpe. And um, she requested one Anne, three, these are so big, this is a meter, three Sarah Milthorpe's but I had space on the um, panel to add some extras. So I popped in some Sarah's in a smaller size and a Sarah in the medium size. If you're interested in having panels uh, 
bespoke printed, very happy to do that for you. A metre of fabric um, is £60 plus £3 shipping outside of um, the UK. Um, and I'm very happy to, as I did with this one, there were some blank spaces, so I filled them with some different sizes. Uh, another lady asked us to print uh, four of our tea towel patterns, which are out of print now. And uh, she asked for, just a second, Anne Thomas, which we did there. And Tong Uffendale, and then um, oops, let's get these. A meter of fabric is a lot to handle. And then she asked for Jane Fiddis and um, Anne, uh, Mary Ann Rag. So these are going off in the post now to those ladies. So if you missed out on the tea towels, or if you want more of those images, just drop me an email and I can sort that out for you. When I was in Nashville, um, I received the most amazing birthday gift, and it's a quilt using our panels, our set of, I think this came from the set of 12 panels. Look at this quilt. It's just amazing. I'm going to do it in two halves. There you can see, oh, I've got it sideways. There you can see... Um, Lucy Barber. It's difficult doing this upside down. And Thomas. There's Sarah Millthorpe. And these panels are all um, just so beautifully added to the quilt. And this one's got some uh, feather stitching. Well, they've all got feather stitching around on this quilt. We've got um, Hannah, Tom, uh, Hannah Campbell. We've got... Um, Susanna Dakar, which hasn't been released yet. I will be getting around to releasing her. And then the other ones are another panel from Hannah Campbell, a different section of the sampler. Then one of my favourite samplers, Esther Pickford. Then we've got Anne Ogston, which uh, was my workshop at the Attic Sampler Symposium. That will release next year. And then one of my very, very favourites, Mrs. Campbell. And finally, we've got a section of Harriet Salt. This quilt is just truly, truly beautiful. It's ginormous. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? My friend who made this, she is a truly gifted needle woman. Um, her work is always beautiful and I'm always amazed to see um, her creativity and the standard of her workmanship as well. When I was at um, Nashville, um, I was with Kathleen Littleton of Cross Stitch Antiques, and this was one of the birthday presents that Kathleen gave me. Isn't that adorable? It's a miniature model of a Singer sewing machine, but it has a purpose. You open the box, With ferrofocals, sometimes it's difficult to see when you're at odd angles and you have this lovely chest underneath to store things. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you want one of these, Kathleen has them available on her website and I will pop the website address on the screen for you. She hasn't got many of them, but uh, she does have some. And it's just absolutely adorable. This is beautiful for a craft room. Now, Kathleen's um, website for her store is, let me just get this right. I'll mention it, but I will add it, is Family Hearth General Store, all as one word, familyhearthgeneralstore.com. I can't wait to get this um, in my craft room. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful addition to it. So thank you, Kathleen. I was so touched with that gift. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you uh, to 
everybody who has downloaded or purchased the booklet for M. Nenquin. There's actually been a finish of this posted on social media this week and it, it's amazing. The needleworker used her own colours and I do love seeing people being creative with our samplers. Never worry about changing colours. It's your sampler. Make it your own. Um, I love this sampler so much. Okay, so um, Nashville Needlework Market. Um, the purpose of me going to market was um, primarily to uh, make some bulk purchase orders for some events that we've got coming up. Um, those orders will be filled and shipped over the months ahead. So um, I'm not showing those items, but there were some other items that I picked up. Now, um, the first thing I'm going to show you, I didn't actually get from market. I had arranged to uh, collect these whilst I was in the States. And that is some linen from Cedar River. And I have to say, this linen is amazing. Okay, so Cedar River at uh, Jody, she's a needle worker who has uh, started uh, dyeing, over dyeing linen. Um, I'm so impressed with uh, the linen that I picked up. I've been told about her linen and how beautiful it was. And the people that told me were absolutely correct. So this is a sample that I immediately have placed a bulk order with Jodie. Um, so impressed with her linens. Um, the first colour I'm going to show you is, oh gosh, I'm so terrible at pronouncing things. Albarium, A-L-B-A-R-I-U-M. And this one um, is 56 count. Isn't that a beautiful, delicate colour? There's this lovely sort of dusky pink overtone to it, but just barely perceptible. It's really gorgeous. It's a lovely clean linen that has um, just that hint of colour behind. That's going to um, be a wonderful backdrop to many different uh, thread palettes um, in making samplers. Just so gorgeous. I, you know, I just do not know if this is showing correctly in this light. I've got to do something about my iPad and iPhone. I don't know what's happened. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to find that colour in the 46 count. Is the 46? No, this is this is another colour in 46 and it's called Spindrift, S-P-I-N-D-R-I-F-T. And it's just got that little bit of a stronger colour uh, to the um, Albarium. You can just see the difference there. It's lovely having those subtle colour changes um, with linen so that you can match them well to your project. Um, let's go through these. Let's just dive in. I hope to match up the colours because I've got 56 and 46. Um, this one's an interesting colour. It's um, maple bar in 46 count. Isn't that beautiful? Just that little hint of ageing, but nothing harsh. That's really gorgeous. Oh gosh, when I see beautiful linens like this, I just want to stitch, stitch, stitch. Really beautiful. Let's get the next one. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is perfect for antique samplers. It's coffee stain. And this one is um, 46 count. Look at that, you've got some grunging, but again, nothing harsh, it's all blended. That'll give your sampler a lot of soul and ageing. That's gorgeous. I've got a sampler in mind for this one. What's next? Um, Jodie's linens are Swigart based. Um, this one's called Tephra, T-E-P-H-R-A. And this is 46 count. It has a little bit of aging, but very, very subtle. Beautiful. 
beautiful. And the linen is presented nicely. It's cut well, it's cut straight. I can't stand it when you have linen that's on the squiff. When you have a millennium frame, you can't set your linen up properly if it's not straight. Um, all right, this is the Albarium in 46 counts. So let's compare the two colours. I think that's a really good colour match. Jodie's done very well with her dye formulas to get those colours so similar in 56 and 46 count. Well done, Jodie. Let's have a look at the next one. I opened all of these at Nashville and I packed them away so tidily, but I will pack them away after the video. Okay, this is overcast and it's in 46 count. Like Jodie does all the counts, it's just that I bought 56 and 46 because that's what we use for our models. Overcast. Beautiful colour. It's got some soul to it, some depth, but very um, elegantly done actually. Gorgeous, gorgeous linen. What's next? This should be repeats. Yes, overcast. So let's have a look. This is the overcast in the 56 count. And that's the overcast in the 46 count behind. Very good matching again. Um, this is the maple bar, which is this one. So this is the 46 and this is the 56. Good colour match between the counts again. I think this is the... Um, coffee stain. I thought it was. Right, let's get the coffee stain in the 46 count. Oh, I think Bertie's trying to get through but there's no room today. So this is 46 and this is the 56. There we go and we should have one more piece of linen. which will be the tephra. Here's my tephra. So much linen here. There we are, this is the tephra. Let's put these together. A little bit of difference between the two counts, but that is to be expected because the counts take the color differently. So that's the tephra in the 56, and this is the tephra in the 46. Beautiful, beautiful linen. Can't wait to start stitching on that. Oh, I've got one more piece. Hold on a second. Oh, this is the spin drift, which is this one. Oh, that's a good colour match between the two. So this one is the 56 and that's the 46. Beautiful. Okay, so what else did I get at Nashville? Um, there was one thing that blew me away. It's something I wanted a long, long time, but I never realised that it was out there. And it was um, a Vera Soir silks in Soir 103 and Soir d'Angers that was over dyed, but over dyed with very distinctive and frequent, and that's an important word, frequent colour changes. Sometimes with over dyes, you have to stitch so much before the colour changes. When we reproduced Alice Williams, this super little sampler, which says kindness, uh, so idleness, which I get kindness from, idleness is the thief of time. Um, Kathleen, who stitched this, had to literally fussy cut the over-dyed threads to get the colour changes that we were looking for 
but um, I came across a boutique and I can't believe I never came across this boutique last time I was at Nashville um, and the boutique was called Threadnuts and the lady in Threadnuts, Jane, she was so knowledgeable and so helpful it was a joy to go into her boutique and she does a beautiful range of threads that are um, made in Germany and they're called painter's threads. Um, and Painter's Threads do a range of project, products. I didn't buy all of them. The ones that interested me was the Overdyed Soir d'Arger, the Overdyed Soir 103, the Overdyed Silk Ribbons and the Overdyed Gimp, Braided Gimp, and the Overdyed Cotton Twill. Now, if I've got this right, um, there's 40 colours in each uh, uh, range and the colours are all the same. So if you buy um, a Soir d'Arger colour, um, there will be a match in Soir 103, a matching one in the braided gimp, in gimp, in ribbon, in twill and lots of other products as well like perle in different um, thicknesses, a really wide range. Now um, I didn't buy everything um, because the lady didn't have the Soir 103 there and that's the main medium that I work in. But I do work in Soir d'Alger as well. So I bought um, most of the range of Soir d'Alger, not all of them because some of them had sold out. Um, and this is just a few of them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this in more detail. I have, I couldn't wait when I got home to stitch out a swatch to see how those colour change, changed when you were stitching them. Um, and this is just a few of the colours that I bought. This is going to go into my stitching journal as a reference. So um, these are some of the spools. As you can see, beautiful colour changes. Some are a little bit more pronounced than others. And then this is the uh, braided silk gimp which I've just put on there as my little test swatch for my journal. And this is the uh, cotton twill, which I show you how it ruches in a moment. Um, beautiful. And I love the fact that if you um, stitched, uh, let's have a look, for example, um, just a moment, um, with the Nikki, you had the... Um, the braids, the silk ribbon, the Soir d'Alger, the Soir 103, all matches. I thought that was a wonderful, wonderful concept. Um, the colour changes on the ribbons are amazing. Really, really beautiful. On the gimp, it's amazing as well. The braided gimp and, and the plain gimp as well. I haven't put that out on here. Um, this is Soir d'Alger. Look at those beautiful colours. Um, as I said, they all carry the same number and uh, name. This was beautiful. Look at the colour changes in that. Gorgeous. Um, I was just blown away when I walked into the store and uh, saw these. Um, See that matches. Does that, have I got? I have. I've got it elsewhere. I've got um, the silk ribbon and the braid to go with that. Um, it's just gorgeous. Look at the colours on that. Some of them are more subtle, um, but beautiful colour changes nonetheless, uh, and some are very bold. This is a lovely range of colour there. If you were looking to do a single uh, coloured, you know, a monochrome sampler, uh, say for example, a black one. Now that's not black, but that will stitch up beautifully for a monochrome dark sampler. That would as well, that will make a beautiful monochrome. 
so many beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, the ribbon comes in two different widths. Um, on the spools, I bought the uh, four millimetre ribbon, but um, I have actually also bought some wider ribbon as well. Now, the twill, the cotton twill. This is so clever. Let me just get this out. So, you can see those beautiful colour changes and how frequent they are and how positive they are. So what you do, you pull a thread and then you start to ruche it and then you have your ruching. You can pull it back out if it was too much or you ruched too, you know, too much of it or you wanted it a little bit looser and then you can just space it out to how you want it. And when I stitched my little samples down, I used um, some Soir d'Alger in the same colour range and the stitching, you cannot see it because you're using the same colour thread. I love that. I love the whole concept behind this thread range. I've ordered um, several complete sets of the Soir 103 and my friends who are at Nashville, um, who I spoke to this about, immediately rushed down and placed orders as well for the uh, threads. Now, how do you get hold of it? Hold on a second. Now, um, these threads are made in Germany um, and they're called Painter's Threads Collection. Now, in the US, um, the distributor and the main retailer is Threadnuts. And Threadnuts website, I will put on the screen, is literally threadnuts, one word, dot com. And the lady there is called Jane, and she's so unbelievably helpful. Um, it's a retail site, and it's also a wholesale site. Um, I know that Kathy Ray of um, Needle in a Haystack stocks these, and I believe that the attic does as well. Um, Jane doesn't have all the ranges on the website, but she does stock them all. The Swar 103 um, isn't on the website other than it just mentions they do it. But if you want to buy them, just send Jane an email. Um, 40 threads, it's not a huge number to kit up the entire range or just buy one or two. Absolutely beautiful. Um, when I stitched this little test swatch out, um, the silks were beautiful. They had, you know, they, it's it, it's Soir d'Alger that I use and it just handled so, so beautifully. Um, and I stitched this out on 36 count. Um, honestly, I was so excited about these. That was one of the first things I did when I got home. Even though I was exhausted, I had to sit down and, and stitch them out and see how those colour changed. And it's just so, so beautiful. Um, very excited to be using these products and I can't wait for my order of the Swar 103 to arrive. Um, okay, now the other thing um, that I thought was really wonderful at Nashville was a ruler and it's called a Cross Stitch Buddy Ultimate and it's by stitchypros.com and I'll put that website address um, on the screen as well for you. Now, as a quilter, I must have every type of ruler and cutting aid known to man. But I've never had a ruler for, specifically for cross stitch. And this is quite novel, actually. Okay, the ruler is 17 inches, which is great because 12 inches is just not long enough. I do a lot of paper crafts as well, scrapbooking, and um, a 12 inch ruler is just a waste of time. So the ruler is see-through. If you put the ruler against a white background, it shows black. But if you put it against a black background it shows white and that's so good when you're you know I know as a quilter that sometimes you can't see the markings on perspex rulers so this one has um, 
two corner gauges, you've got two inches, two and a half inches, and then you've got three inches so you can get your starting point. It has a measure so you can measure the number of threads, uh, the, the count of your linen, which I thought was really novel. It um, works out, um, it helps you with your calculation for your margin and it shows what needles you should be using uh, by the stitch count as well. Um, but what was really, really novel about this were these three ends of the rulers. If you, wrap, if you have a skein and you wrap it around this one and you cut it, you have a thread that is 36 inches long for adding to your floss drops. If you wrap it around this one, it's 24. And if you wrap it around the bottom one, you have you, and you cut your ski, you've got a thread of 18 inches. I thought that was just so, so novel. And I know this is going to be very useful. And as a collector of rulers and measuring guides and cutting guides, um, storage can be a problem, but this, they thought of everything with this one, it's got a hole so you can just hang it up, which is great. So, um, I believe that, um, the lady who is Stitchy Pros, her husband designed this. So, you know, hats off to him. That's a very useful little item. I know that, um, the Attic Needleworks stock these, um, and I'm sure there's many other stores as well, but you can buy these direct from Stitchy Pros as well. Invaluable. So I was very, very pleased with that. Now, um, a boutique I absolutely adored was Lady Dots. And I cannot express how delightful those two ladies are to deal with. Nothing was too much trouble. They were gracious kind it was a joy to go in there and i must admit i bought an awful lot but this is just a little sampling of what i did buy um in cornwall there's nowhere really to go to get um your trims for finishing off so i wanted to, to come back with a lot of trims and i certainly did um Lady Dots do a beautiful range of um, cotton velvet and this is just some of the colours that I um, I picked up. Gorgeous. Let's just show you some more. That is musty. That's so beautiful. I don't know if that's showing correctly. I don't want to take all of these out because I'll never get them back in whilst I'm doing the video and then I'll get confused. Beautiful for your Halloween or fall or, uh, ornaments. Gorgeous colour, that one. And then I had to get this beautiful, beautiful dark green called Cucumber. It's the darkest, richest green imaginable. But what was really lovely um, with Lady Dots is that every colour uh, of velvet that they do, they do a uh, chenille um, trim. So I, I bought all the colours. But I'm just showing you a few. So all of these um, match the... Um, the uh, velvets. So those are um, Berry Crush. You know, you might want a contrasting trim, but you know, this is the range they do. And then they do Rick Rack in the colour range. So every velvet uh, chenille has lace and um, Rick Rack to go with it. And they have. Um, the little pom-pom braids to match and they have lace and they have ribbon as well beautiful for your um for your trims and you're finishing off 
Um, they also did a beautiful flannel as well. And um, this is something I wanted for a special project. I'm just finishing off now. Beautiful flannel. And when you feel it, the quality there was just gorgeous. Um, okay, so <laughs> I actually came back with this as well. Um, it's not wood, it's resin made to look like wood. Beautiful bowl for displaying uh, smalls. And um, I picked this up from uh, Shakespeare Peddler, Kitten Stitcher. Um, I'm not sure if she has these on her website, but you can go along and have a look or email uh, Teresa. That is so realistic. You would never think that wasn't wood. Um, really lovely. Now, um, some other things that I got with regards to finishing um, was from Weeks Dye Works. Oh, I love going into Weeks. Their linen and their range of colours is absolutely beautiful. But uh, the one thing I focused on uh, was the wool fabric. Now, again, I've got loads of this and I will do a video showing you the complete range in the weeks ahead. I can't get everything into this video. Um, but basically, um, they do, and I should have pulled one of those out to show you, and I haven't. They do a plain, and then they do a contrasting one. And there's also uh, a contrasting one in herringbone as well. So you get the three, a plain, um, a check, and um, a herringbone. And again, these all share the same name, so you know that you're matching them up correctly. I just picked two examples to show you in the video today. You'll be seeing some Hands Across the Sea samplers, um, smalls coming out shortly using these beautiful wools. Anyway, I will show you those in a video very, very soon. I've got lots and lots of them. Um, a purchase for myself, a treat for myself, is this beautiful wooden set of drawers. Now, I'm a sucker for anything that's wood and anything that I can use in my for my needlework and for display in my sewing studio or, you know, around my stitching chair. And this is gorgeous. I bought this from Trey Chic Stitchery. Um, it's made in America. It's... Um, American made. Oh, it's good to support your own country. And this one is black walnut wood. Now, that's the bottom. And I think that speaks of the quality. That's the back. It's beautiful. The, the finish on this is truly, truly amazing. It's quite heavy. It's substantial. The drawers are again, beautifully made and again it speaks of the quality. Look, look how they're finished and then they're lined. I've got a bit of fluff in there. I had to pack very carefully so every space was filled with things coming back and the knobs on these again are just beautiful. This is a weighty item. Um, they had a range of oh, all different, um, oh yeah, and look how that's camphored to fit in to that. That's camphored. Isn't that lovely? Really beautiful. They had a range of boxes. All were delicious. I could have bought every single one. And um, they came in different finishes. Um, I love the dark wood. I thought that was really nice, um, but I could equally have bought um, the lighter version of that as well. Um, I, in fact, I'm probably going to treat myself to it. I regretted not picking it up, but there was only so much I could bring back with me. Um, go along to Trey Chic Stitchery. They stock all the Saju products and they also do a range of scissors as well and sort of all sorts of finishing trims and bits and bits. You know what Saju is like, you can get lost in all the, the gorgeousness and buy everything. But these are beautiful. This is a quality box. Um, OK, I think I got through all of that. Um, I picked up my 
order of fox and rabbit linen and oh my god it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous um which i will show you probably in our next video um i bought all sorts of linen but most of it um, will be shipping in the months ahead. I placed some pretty big orders for linen. Um, okay, check out thread nuts. Check out these beautiful, beautiful silks. I cannot express how gorgeous the colours are. Only one thing, I went to go and remove all of these to make it easier to store them. And then I realised there's no number on the spool. So before I remove the uh, paper tags, I need to go through and mark on the spools all the numbers. So it's a little bit odd the way I've shown them uh, today. Um, let's take those off and then you get to see the colours a little bit better. And as I said, this is only some of the Soir d'Angers and the Soir 103 will be exactly the same as this on spools. Um, Beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, oh, I look at this and I get palpitations. Oh, my mouth is watering. I love, I love colour and I love silks. I'm going to show you that again. Look how elegant that is. Just glorious. This will be beautiful for fall stitching. And this colour as well. Look at those together, how beautiful that would be. Um, it's so nice to have overdyed over our soir. Looking forward to experimenting with that, especially when the 103 comes. Okay, um, available on my website now for purchase, 10 blocks, five inches by six inches, but I can do them at a different dimension upon request. Just email me. Shortly, we will have the 3.5 uh, wide blocks on our website as a standard purchase. It doesn't cost any extra to have them bespoke printed. So um, if you want um, some fabric, if you missed out on the tea towels, you can email me and I can print off uh, which ones that you want. Now, these aren't linen, these are cotton, but I can have them printed on linen for you as well. And um, again, they don't have to be the tea towel ones. They can be most of our samplers, not all of them, most of our samplers we can print um, in whatever size you want. Um, there we go. Can't wait to see what this needle worker does with all of these. That's so cute. That's gonna make a beautiful insert for something. There we are. Okay, as always, thank you so much for listening and thank you for everybody who supports Hands Across the Sea Samplers. I'm always amazed at uh, the response when we release a new product. Um, until next week, stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.